Ladies and gents, this is your personal virus and it is a pleasure for me to welcome you back on the Aircraft server to our next Minecraft Let's Play episode here and quite a lot of things have happened in not your absence really but off camera. For example, this guy, he is here now, portals were... I don't know, my portal is connecting to someone else now and it's kind of weird and while going back I ended right next to this guy basically in the overworld. So yeah, I tamed him, he's here now, and we will quickly go and name him. This is here now, too. <laughs> I made us one of these new fishing area thingies. They are really, they are so cool, so simple. You just stand here whenever you... Here's my decent fishing rod. It's really decent. As soon as the bopper is up there, this trapdoor closes because of this, and as soon as it's going down, for example, when a fish is biting, then you can actually right-click, the drop falls, Onto this, as the hopper beneath it, hoppers can pick up items through this soul sand. Yeah, that's the name. And yeah, so quite a lot of things. And all the good, good things are in here. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I. It took me quite a while until I got this fishing rod together. I hear you, zombie, but you can't get me. And it's pretty much perfect. Perfect fishing rod, it has mending so it'll never break on me because you get more XP from fishing than you take damage on the fishing rod. Yeah, I told you zombie. Now it would be ideal if I could punch a hole. There's oh that was that was rather stupid. <laughs> if I could punch a hole there. As you can see there's dirt right here. Let me Does it work again? <laughs> Wait a second. I did not mean to. Yeah yeah yeah, all working, all good. But as you can see, there's snow here. The water block would turn into ice immediately. So yeah, yeah, that, that, no. Oh, we wanted to name you. We wanted to name you. Name tags, we are swimming in them. It's amazing. Fishing is so cool, oh my god. But we won't focus on fishing today. We will do quite a few cool things. I will call him Baloo. Because that's the name of my dad's doggy, and he's also white, and that's perfect. Sit down. <laughs> he, for some reason, he loves sitting down. Oh, maybe I just fed him some chicken, because chicken is in my offhand. Oh, that must be what's happening there. I see. Let's close the door so he's safe. Another thing that happened is this here. <laughs> I started digging out things. Ooh, don't break the torch. And I started working on some sort of a path. Not really sure how we will have it. Definitely this wall will go further back. But just for now, you know, gotta start somewhere. And I started here. Just went around with the went with the natural shape we have there. Down there I started as well. And for today, one of the things I want to do is figure out a design for the paths here. I think I want to go with these logs on the side, because, I don't know, it's a nice difference than just stone. I don't want to only have stone, mainly, but not only. And I first tried this here, but I don't really like it. It's too flat. The stone at the same level than the wood, it's... it's... no, no. I think we can go with these iron bars, they kind of look cool. And I think what we will eventually do is something like this. Have the stone set back and maybe some stairs beneath it to make it look like the wood is supported there. This could work, could work. And this is what I will do now. Work on this area, maybe go a bit further. I will see how much wood I have. Oh, well, four. <laughs> this settles that. Yeah, let me get some work done. And I will see you in just a minute. Alrighty guys, I've done some work, we will check it out in just a minute, but I have to quickly show you something else here. Check this out. Virus X of amazingness. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> like Virus X? That, that alone I find really cool. This was a gift from Exonerated. So cool. Like, I was in the chat saying like, oh, I'm down on the ground, I only have a silk touch, I have to burn coal on in order to get me coal. And he was like, I can give you an efficiency 5, I'm breaking 3. A and I was like, what? Oh, wow, 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 I can offer you... I think I offered him 3 diamond ore for that, because assuming that he had fortune, that would have at least been 3 diamonds. 
I was hoping for more. I had seven diamond ore at the time and he was like, ah, oh, well, you know, give me two diamond ore and I'll put, what was it? Yeah, and I'll put fortune on it as well. And I was like, what? No way. So I wanted to give him five and he did not accept it. I got this pig for two diamonds, which is amazing. We definitely have to do something to, I don't know, to make up for, for that. This is such a generous gift. And since I got a mending book from all the fishing now, we now have two perfect pickaxes. One silk touch, one fortune three. We are set. So let me show you what I've done. Okay, guys, I think it's a good time for a progress report. And not only because my pick is about to break here, it's in the red, yikes. But it shouldn't be too bad. We have mending, mending is our friend. So check this out. This is about the section I want to work on today and I want to kind of finish, at least so that we can see the concept of what we want to build. So I took out quite a bit of a wall and we won't do that all over the place. But here I found it appropriate. Over there, I do, it could be about the same height if we go all the way to the top. I don't know if I want that. I don't want all these tunnels, sections, however you want to call them, to be the same height. It has to be different, else it's kind of boring. We'll continue all the way to the, oh, materials, items. <laughs> nice, I've been working till, yeah, well, I've just been working, so items are floating around. Yeah, I will do that all the way over to there and all the way till the end of the ravine in that direction. And I'll do that on the other side similarly. So if you see that, oh yeah, check this out. We kind of stumbled on the first ravine that intersects here. And that's quite cool. It leaves this little gap here. I like it. I'll keep it. And I totally lost my train of thoughts now. So while I collect these items, I will try to think what I wanted to say just now. Yes, yes, I totally remembered. <laughs> if you consider that this long of a stripe we have on this side and we'll have it on the other side too, then this leaves a pretty big area right here. And mm, I don't want it that big all over the place. I don't think that would look good. But here for the open part, it should actually look really cool because the more you can see, the more impressive it should look, I think. I think we'll see. I will finish one part at a time and then we will learn from that and change it a bit in other sections. But what I want to do right now, let me, ooh, ooh, are you as dizzy as I am? Oh, I'm actually really dizzy. I bought me one of these virtual reality things that you just put on your face. <laughs> wow, I'm good at explaining. And that you kind of just put your phone in and then it works. Yo, it works really, really well but it makes me quite dizzy. <laughs> but it's great fun, it costs 20 bucks. And for that, it's an experience. Oh, it's, it's worth it in my opinion. Worth trying out, really cool. But why I am walking over here so we can see it from, yeah, from over here, oh my God. <laughs> because as you can see, I put in these stairs, mistake, mistake. This block needs to go and the stair needs to be there. OCD killing me, well, I'll work on it. And I think what I want to try now is get in some pillars. I will see. I was thinking of either many small ones, but mm, we want to have buildings down there. Maybe buildings that come out into the walkway. We have enough space, we can do that. And mostly buildings that are recessed into the walls. So therefore, the more pillars we have, the less place we have for buildings. And yeah, so, ooh, slime. I need slime. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, buildings there, therefore big pillars and, and, and less of them and, and I'll do that, but I really need the slime. Gotta go hunt it. See you in a minute. Ooh, made it. Ooh, oh, made it. <laughs> okay, guys, I've done some work and I think I like it. I don't know. I don't know. I am not 100% sure yet. It's kind of difficult to tell. It is the size of a pillar that I wanted. It looks really sturdy down there and it kind of transitions very nicely to over there, but I'm not so sure how I like these fences there and everything. It, it has something to it, but I also feel like maybe it's missing something still, but then again, I don't want to go too crazy on these. We'll have a couple of them. It has to be 
rather easy to build them for once and if they look too crazy, if you have too many crazy looking things in a place then it just gets overwhelming. So I think this is what we will kinda do, at least for now. It is basically, if I were to give you the idea of what I want these pillars to look like, it would be like this. The center would be a log and the outside would be these bricks and then it will go and curve around like the ceiling would. That's the general idea and the rest is just following the shape that we dug out, place stairs and detail blocks and what you see there. Let me go, thank you, <laughs> let me go. Let me go and take a look from a little distance. I'm really curious how that will look. Oh, I've just been up there. <laughs> Why did I jump down? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, quite interesting. Not not bad at all, actually. Let me run over there. Yeah? If we like it, then this is where I will... Ooh, don't fall. Leave it for this episode. I'll cut out more of the mountain of camera and we'll call it a day for today nope <laughs> don't worry i have other plans okay let's see here not bad oh actually not bad at all i think i do like this oh yeah oh yeah imagine if we have more of them maybe around where the ladder comes down would be the next we have a 11 maybe 15 blocks gap between them maybe even more oh <laughs> he did the jung 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 juggling i love that yeah, yeah, I actually really like that. This spot, eh, not so nice, but we can do something about it. All right, D, so this is our first project for today complete, but I have something else I would like to show you and work on for the second part of this episode. Meet you over there. All righty, we are down here in the last part of our ravine. This is the two almost connecting ones. And as I told you last time, back here is where I found the cave spider spawner. So I will bring you over there. I've already done some work. We can get there over there or mm, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Thank you. Or through the little shortcut I dug here and I've done a little bit of work here. <laughs> As you can see, there are two and I dug out a decent room. So this will be a project I want to, I don't know how far we will get today, but we'll work on it today. I want to turn this into a dual spider something farm something. There is a regular cave spider spawner somewhere if we follow this cave, somewhere uh, roughly there, but it's too far, it's too far. We can't make it a triple one. That would have been epic. But yeah, this is what we have. I think the way I want it to is kind of stand here, which would roughly be the center maybe. Get them all funneled towards me, and then maybe lava, get them down to one head and swoosh, and we can get XP. I really only need the XP, maybe the string, string is quite useful, maybe the spider eyes for enchanting later, I'm not sure, but mostly the XP for our mending tools so we can repair them. Ooh, virus X. Oh, I have a moth on my screen. This is... I don't mind moths, but uh, please don't fly in my face, I don't like that. Yep, yep, I'll do some work here now. I will lay out the shapes for the room and everything, maybe make them look nice, maybe come up with a shutting off mechanism, even though I don't really know why we'd want one, but yeah, yeah. let me do some work and I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay guys, we are back, not too much progress yet, but I stumbled upon something I did not know about spawners and I thought maybe you don't know either, so I thought we'd quickly talk about it, it's quite interesting actually. This here should be the perfect room, almost perfect room for this spawner. And do you notice something? This should make it pretty clear. This thing seems off center, doesn't it? And it is at least visually. What I did not know, the spawner, the way the game works, you see the spawner there, but the actual spawner for the game is right in this spot in the corner between these four blocks here. This is where the game handles the spawner. So if you want the four block distance that you need for a spawner to work efficiently, then you have to consider this block and go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. And this makes it 
I don't know, I did not know that. It was quite interesting to me. And you can't just do that randomly. I have the second one left like this, so we can kind of check it out and show it off quickly. If we look at our coordinates here, you see my x and my z, they are both at a negative, so this will be a bit confusing. If I move in this direction here, see how they both shrink? Since we are at the negative, this means we are moving in positive here. And also the, do you see right in the center of the screen, these three lines, green going up, red one in this direction and blue one in this direction. This shows that this is positive direction. So the spawner being in the block of minus 2493 minus 3613 is actually right here, right here, at where basically both these coordinates would reach zero in the in the decimal, you know, you know what I mean? Therefore, we need three in that direction and four blocks in this direction. I hope that makes sense. So basically in the negative direction, you need more blocks than you need in the positive. If you go on a diagonal here, just three, in the positive and four in the negative and you will have your spawner in the right spot. No, no, this is still a bit confusing because this is not where you would put your walls. This is the distance you need. So your walls would go one further. This is where your walls would start. I hope this makes sense to you. <laughs> I hope I could explain it kind of nicely. Uh, if not, there are good tutorials on it. I. I googled a bunch of stuff because I saw Xizuma Void build one of these spawners and he was like, yeah, put your walls here and there. And I was like, why? Why? That's off center. Why? <laughs> yeah, that got me curious. Now I know. Now you know. I'll continue working on this thing. Oh, also another thing that is quite important. If we want to max out these things here, we have to move the spiders not only out of this area, but out of the... There's sort of a safety area that I believe is four to five blocks wider. So one, two, three, four. Around here for this spawner, we'd have to bring them to around here. And to make things not too complicated, I will just see, yeah, the spawner is off now. It's on now. This spawner is on now. It's off now. Okay, on, on, off, off. All right, so this here, should be the last block where both spawners are active. I'll just mark it out and I will bring, no, 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 this is not where we will bring the spiders, but where I will stand. So the spiders we will have here. This will be our, let's mark it like this. <laughs> this is where we will, uh, let's say it as it is, kill them. <laughs> All right, this is my planning. Now I'll do some decorative stuff and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, guys, check it out. I came up with a little design thingy here. It's interesting, isn't it? This would be the actual wall and behind there we'll have another wall and it doesn't look like too much, but what if I would end it up like this? Maybe? <laughs> I love that. This looks so cool. It makes me wonder why I've never tried anything like that. I mean, obviously these are bone blocks. We didn't have them before, but the redstone blocks behind the stone. Oh, that looks neat. And maybe, maybe if we stand in just the right spot and you look at it just the right way, then maybe you see something different there as well. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's the face of a cave spider. It's pretty much perfect pixel wise and everything, but we can't have it like that. See that right here? We will have water flowing from here to here, pushing the cave spiders to over here and they would end up in this gap and getting stuck. So we sadly have to change it. It's a pity because I think it looked perfect. Well, we could have it like that. It looks kind of odd. We could give it, oh, could give it an evil face. That should work. That should work if we do this and then you right here and you right here. Oh yeah, then these are evil eyes. It's an angry spider. It should not, no, it shouldn't fit in here. It is spider size 7.1, no, what am I saying? 0 0.7 blocks high. So 
Yeah, 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 this should be safe. Okay, so we'll do that. I will... Nope, not do that. I will finish it on this side as well. In the back wall we will have a different design just because we'll have water flowing down here and I kind of want to look it, look it, oh my god, I kind of want to have it to look so as if, you know, if we just have the water on front of this row it would look stupid. It has to come from somewhere, at least looks like it should come from somewhere like it's supposed to be there I don't know yet I don't know yet I'll come up with something and I hope we will be able to see these guys once the room is finished still so yep give me once again just a minute alrighty guys there you can <laughs> kinda a little bit see the designer went for with the back wall it's nothing too fancy it's just so that it matches the thing and here I went for a really really old water design do you guys remember that having stairs and then signs and water blocks on top of that and I'm not even sure if that still works but this is how I learned Minecraft this is what first fascinated me about the game having these mobs, pushing them around with water channels and I wanna I wanna have that back, you know what I mean? <laughs> I want to try it, I really hope it works right here where the water falls so we can extend the water stream I put down fences, just hoping that this will work I have no idea if it will, but fences are higher than a block so if a cave spider would kinda want to get stuck here I hope that it will be at least at this height level and uh, therefore continuing to be pushed or at the very least not drown we'll see if it works if not i'll have to use the other design with with these stairs basically and if that doesn't work i'll i don't know i don't know i i can't even get up here so let me fire this guy up now oh it it works immediately okay looking good looking really good oh 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 <laughs> Well, the, the one guy kind of wanted to. And is he climbing now? No, he's not climbing. Maybe because of glass? Can they not climb glass? Is that a thing? Hmm, so they do get stuck here. I was kind of fearing that might happen. But that this guy isn't climbing is the most confusing thing for me. Maybe it's because of the water and because he's bouncing? Can I... <laughs> this will be dangerous. Can I somehow... Oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe the downward thing doesn't work. It worked for the first guy, but the others don't seem to like it too much. Ow! How did you get me? Ah, and now you like climbing too, huh? Jerk. <laughs> oh, and if I hit him, he goes down again? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, so we have to tweak it quite a bit, but... Oh, look at that! Look how cool the glowstone looks! Ooh, that is really neat. Oh, did a spider spawn up there? What? Let me quickly show you. I thought I prevented that. Huh! Lights on. Check this out. Okay. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I have to leave the area in order to for these guys to respawn. Yeah, he spawned on top of the... Man, I have a cobblestone wall block right there. And I was hoping that this would be sufficient, but apparently I need a full block. It's rather annoying. Do I have... I sure do. I think this should be the spawner. Yes, it is. Let's get rid of this guy. Hey, thank you. <laughs> and let's just put a full block right here. And this should settle it. No more spawns on top of the spawner. But yeah, it kind of works kind of works we have to tweak it a little bit i will do that off camera we will have a proper room back here this will be nicer if i cannot make them climb then i have a different method that will work and that is with pistons if we have a piston facing downwards and activate it then it will actually push them like pull them through the piston and then they're standing on top of that so this could work quite well but since i have to move them upwards to continue the water stream and I have to do that twice. We will end up one higher than here. Another higher we'll un it won't be too high. It won't be too high. So we won't have to change the room too much. It'll be okay. It'll work. <laughs> but I'm just rambling now. I'm boring you. We will hopefully see each other in the next episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. This 
with your personal virus. And I hope me and all these cute little horrible creatures have got you infected. Thanks to this string we found, we can now make us a bow, which we need in order to craft us a dispenser. Some lava found in the ravine. Neat! A few redstone torches. This is not how you make redstone torches. There we go! And go! There we are! I think that looks quite cool actually. I don't know. This kind of wooden makeshift thing next to the old shipwreck. It looks so. Ah, it looks like in a post apocalyptic game or something. And I don't know why I keep getting out my axe, but. <laughs> It's not like anything can hurt me on top of these shipwrecks, right?